Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today I am back with a super easy, simple summer makeup tutorial with this bold red orange lip. So this is the look I did on my Instagram about a week and a half ago and you guys really loved it and requested that I film it for my YouTube channel. So today we're just gonna do a get ready with me. This is definitely my go-to look every summer when I wanna look very glam and very put together and like I tried really hard. But on average, without filming and talking through each step, this literally takes me under 25 minutes. The red lip definitely makes it look like you tried really hard. But that's what I love about this look. It's very glam, very girly, and very summer appropriate. So grab your beauty blenders and your coffee and let's go. All right, good morning, you guys. So I already moisturized with my Tarte Drink of H2O moisturizer and I do have my brows on already. And I'm gonna spray my face with my Mario Badescu facial spray with rose water. Oh, and yes, my hair is really, really dark right now. Um, I had it done like a week and a half ago and it didn't quite turn out how I wanted it to be. Um, I originally wanted to be like a really dark chocolate color, but it came out to be almost near black. So at the moment, I'm not really feeling this color. I'm gonna go have it fixed later this week. But for now, we're just gonna go with it. So I'm applying some primer. This is the Pro Touch Smoothing Primer by Kiss New York. For foundation today, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Also one of my favorites right now. I like how it's really full coverage and gives you like a really dewy finish. So now I'm just gonna blend that. If my lips look really red right now, it's cause I just had a lip plumper on and I took it off not too long ago. For concealer, I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade A Light Neutral. Okay, now that my concealer is blended, I wanted to try out this new foundation and concealer palette by BH Cosmetics. So I think I'm gonna try this shade here and do a little bit of cream contouring. These colors seem really pigmented and creamy, so hopefully it blends out really good. Oh. All right, let's see how well this blends. So it blended out pretty good. I mean, I don't know, it's all right. Okay, moving on to my favorite part, cream highlighting. So I used the Iconic London um, Illuminator Drops. This is in the shade Shine. These drops are so good and they are like half the price of the Cover FX ones. So I'll put some on the back of my hand and then I'll take my Beauty Blender and dip into the liquid highlighter. And then I'll apply this. Oh, yes. Just gives you so much glow, so much luminosity. I really like how it looks in photos. So I got these new powders in the mail yesterday and I wanna try setting my face with them. These are the Velvet Powder Bases by Pop Beauty. And this one is in the shade Cream, Creme. And with that, I'm gonna use my Sigma F79 brush. Dip into some of this. Oh. It actually looks really nice. So I'm going to avoid putting powder where I just highlighted with the illuminator drops. So I'm gonna try bronzing with the same powder except this is in the shade Cinnamon. It's a little bit darker. I'm gonna try this with my pink Luxie brush. Wow, I am really impressed with these powders and the shade Cinnamon is like perfect for bronzing. 
All right, so for blush, I want a very neutral blush with just a hint of color. So I'm gonna use the Balm Beach Blush by The Balm. And it's a very neutral, like, pink peach color. I'm applying this with my MAC 137 brush. We'll probably do highlighter last. Um, so now we're gonna move on to the eyes. The eyes are super easy. All you need is two shades, basically a bronzer shade and a very gold shade. So for my crease shade, I'm gonna use Coco Bear from Makeup Geek and the gold that will go on our lids is also from Makeup Geek and this is called Magic Act. And then the shade for our brow bone highlight and like inner corner, I'm gonna use Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek. Love Makeup Geek shadows. They're very inexpensive and super pigmented. So I'm just gonna take my MAC 217 and dip into Coco Bear. I'm just gonna run this through my crease. So if you don't have a brown shadow, you can honestly just use your bronzer shade. It will look exactly the same. I'm also gonna run some of this on my lower lash line just so it's not so bare. Okay, so moving on to the lid, just take any flat brush. This is the MAC 242, one of my favorite flat brushes, and then you just wanna spray it with some kind of setting spray and dip into the gold. And then to highlight the inner corner and brow bone, this is that Shimmer Shimmer shade from Makeup Geek. And that's it. That's all we're gonna do to the eyes. Super easy, super simple. Now I'm just gonna add some mascara and then we'll put on some lashes. Lashes are on. These are from Black Magic Lashes. Unfortunately, I lost the box, so I don't know the name of these. But in the photo, I was wearing the Huda Beauty Audrey lashes. I think those are way prettier and they're just more like fluffier and they go really well with this look. But honestly, you don't even need lashes for this look. I think it looks so pretty with just mascara and the pop of red lip, but I'm obsessed with lashes, so I have to have them on. So for highlighter today, I'm gonna use one of the OGs. This is Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I think this was probably the first highlighter I ever purchased and it's still one of my favorites. But first, I'm gonna do a quick spritz of the Slay All Day Makeup Setting Spray by Gerard. I like to apply highlighter on damp skin. Just pops more. Yes. Mmm! And lastly for lips, today I'm gonna to use the MAC Painted Sunset Lipstick. Um, I would show you how it looks, but my little nephew kind of ate half of it. But that's okay, it still works. I'm still gonna use it. It's one of my favorite like bright red orange colors. First I'm gonna line my lips using the pickup liners from the Balm. And that completes this video. Thank you guys for getting ready with me today. I really hope you enjoyed this look and I'll see you in my next video.